Hey guys, welcome back to another video from the channel, Learn From Basics. This is Joe here, and in our last video, we learned how to make this really cool loading screen by ourselves. And I hope you watched that video and made a really cool loading screen that's not mine, but your own one. But if you didn't, no problem. Now, if you haven't watched my last video or my other previous videos where I show you how to make these awesome animation where I show you how to make these awesome graphics on the in a main screen of our game where when you touch the buttons they hover and where I told you how to make a loading screen then please do go and check those out which should pop about pop up about right now now if you did watch those videos then this should be where you are with the code which when we do it correctly makes us have a successful loading screen but what's the problem well the problem is that the loading screen is not supposed to show up when we start the program it's supposed to show up when we click on one of the buttons or all of the buttons and the first button we're going to start off with help so what's supposed to happen is when we click on the button help, this loading screen is supposed to show up. But because of our code, what is happening is when we click on the green flag or start the program, that's when the loading screen comes up, which we don't want. So we're, we're going to tell the computer that we're going to take out this code. And we're going to tell the computer that when flag clicked, hide. Now... As you can see, the loading screen's gone. But when we click on help, nothing happens. The loading screen doesn't come up. Well, how do we code the loading screen so when we click on help, this loading screen comes up? Well, first, we need to tell the loading screen when is it supposed to come up. Well, when we click on help. But how does, we know, how does it know when we click on the button help? We're supposed to give it an indicator on when to start. And in order to do that, we are going to go to help. And we're going to say, when the sprite clicked on, so let me delete this code so we can do it together. We're going to say, when the sprite clicked on, or when we click on the button help, we want this to, we want this to send an indicator to the loading screen to tell it to show up and start load. Now there are many ways you can do that. You can take a variable and there are many other ways. But the best way to do it is to broadcast a message. And in order to broadcast a message or send a message to each and every sprite, you can simply just say broadcast message one and wait. Now we say broadcast message one and wait because if we just put broadcast message one, then it keeps on broadcasting message one and the loading screen will load forever, which we don't want because loading screens that load forever are annoying. Now, we have told the computer or we have given our loading screen an indicator or we have given our loading screen a way to know how when we click on help, which is it, when we click on help, there help, the button help, sends a message called message one. Now, we have to tell the loading screen that whenever it receives message one, it's supposed to start loading. But before it stop, starts loading, you remember in our first move, we made our loading screen disappear when we click on the green flag. So... We are going to tell it that whenever, whenever, whenever the button help broadcasts message one or whenever the loading screen receives message one, the first thing we want to do is, since our loading screen is going to load from our first frame or from the beginning, we're going to tell it to switch to costume one or whatever our first costume is. So we're going to say looks, switch to, instead of costume 17, one. And then, as I said, we made the loading screen disappear when we start the program. So, 
we're, we're supposed to make it appear when we when when it receives message one so we go to looks again and we say show now what do we want next well first let's see if this code works when i click on the green flag the loading screen's not up but when i click on help there's a black screen or our first frame of the loading screen which works so yuppie now why now as you can see we said when i received message one but i mean even though when we click on help even though we can see the loading screen it doesn't load now before we get into how to make a loading screen load what is a loading screen well to be simple a loading screen is an animation and what are animations animations are nothing but a set of pictures or frames when you go through them fast or super fast it looks like whatever pictures are in the frame it looks like they're moving if you draw them correctly now that's exactly what we did with our loading screen as you can see in our first frame we have our bar which is like which has no red filling and then we have a bit of red filling then a bit more then a bit more then a bit more then a bit more and then it goes up, 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 and finally it's going to be filled, but then it's going to break into parts. And then each and every part is going to start changing colors, as you can see. And then all of those blocks morph into a line. Then there's a word, there's a word success that pops up over here. And then everything on the screen morphs into this rectangle that says press X to start. Now, you as I see as as you can see when I go through them really slowly, or when I go through these frames really slowly, they just they just look re they don't look like an animation. So we want to go through them really fast. So we're gonna tell the computer that when I receive message one, switch costume show, and then we're gonna do a forever because. We want, we want it to go through the frames, like, repeated. And then, we're going to go to looks, and we're going to say, next costume. Now, as you can see, if we click on help, bam, we have ourselves a loading screen. But, isn't that a bit too fast for a loading screen? How do we make this uh, s slower? Well, you can simply go to control and we can say wait one second and one second is actually a lot of time so 0 0.3 will do amazingly now we have a pretty awesome loading screen now you can toggle with these features as much as you want until you have the right pace but right about here we come up with another problem our loading screen is loading multiple times but we want our loading screen to load until it gets to our last frame, which is costume 17. So, we want our loading screen to go from costume 1, then to costume 2, then to costume 3, then to costume 4, then to costume 5, then to costume 6, then to costume 7, costume 8, costume 9, costume 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, then 16, and then 17, and we want it to stop until we press X. So, how do we do that? Well... We take out the forever, and how many times do we want it to repeat the same action, which is to go to the next costume and wait 0 0.21 seconds? Well, it depends on how many frames you have. In my case, I have 17 frames, so we want to repeat this 17 times. So let's repeat this 17 times. Wait, wait, wait. Before we repeat this 17 times, if we if we do it like this where we just duplicate these blocks and put them under each other there are two problems number one if your animation has a lot of frames like a hundred frames which is really detailed good job to you then it's gonna take forever to put this piece of code down and there's gonna be a really lengthy code which is the more length the code is the slower the game is the slower the game is the more annoying the game is. And the more annoying the game is, more people won't want to play. So you can see how 
of how more code affects how many people play your game. So we want to reduce all of this code so we can just do all of this in th using three blocks. Now, how do we do that? Well, let's think. Ah, so instead of repeating this manually by ourselves 17 times, there's a block in control called repeat 10 times. And now since I wanted to repeat 17 times, I say repeat 17 times. And what do we want to repeat 17 times? Well, we want it to go to next costume and then wait 0.21 seconds to move on to the next one. And if we put that, then it repeats these set of code over and over again 17 times. Now, isn't that way faster and uses way, way less code than our previous method? So not only did not only did we find an easier, faster and less effort way to rep to make our loading screen load, but we also learned an about a new block. Repeat 17 times. Now you can change the number 17 to how many frames you have. If 100, then 100 frames. If 1,000, then 1,000 frames. But now, as you can see, if I click on the red flag and the green flag, and when I click on help, our loading screen loads. Success, press X to start. And instead of 17, maybe we have to make it 16. Now you can play it around with these numbers until you get it really perfect. Now I click on help again. As you can see, we have our loading screen loading, dot change color, success, and press X to start. But now, as you can see, if I press on X, which I am, it doesn't go away or it doesn't hide. Well, how do we do that? Well, we simply tell the computer that after the loading screen is done loading, if we press on the button X, or if we press on key X, or if key X pressed, which if you scroll down, you should be able to find X, which is over here. Then we want this to hide. So we can go to looks or we can duplicate this side and put it over here. Now, as you can see, it loads. And when I click on X, it doesn't hide. Now you might be thinking, what is the problem here? Well, the problem is, the problem is that we, ha, we, the problem is that we only ask this question once. So that's the reason why it doesn't hide. So instead, we put a forever over here. And then if we do our code correctly, then as you can see, we click on help. And if we click on X, there we go. We have ourselves a successful loading screen, guys. Now, if you do have any questions, please go down in the comment section down below to ask me those questions. But that's all for this video. Now, in our next video, we are going to make this background or this main screen turn into the instruction screen and these buttons are going to go away now how do we do that well that will be discussed in our next video but thank you for watching this video guys don't forget to like share and subscribe see you guys in the next one and here is a quick preview on how your pro your game should look so far click on help your loading screen loads click on x we're back at our main screen but that's all for today's video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this video. And click on the bell icon so you can see my other awesome content. But see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.